Good evening. Welcome back. Look at all these fun books. Click on the book that you want to read. The Teddy Bear Tea. This part of the book is called The Table of Contents. It lists all the stories that are in this book. Click on the story that you want to read. Soda Pop by Gwyneth Campbell. Soda Pop, Soda Pop, bubbling up. Twelve little bubbles in my cup. Eleven pop, ten pop, nine pop, eight. Bubbles make the soda pop great. The Lark in the Park. The Candy Machine. The Lark in the Park. Babies by Mark Towner. Female dogs have puppies. A Pretty Planet. A Pretty Planet by Mark Beckwith. As I fly in my rocket ship, black space is all I see. Nothing but darkness and a few white stars far away. Wait, I see a little ball. It is a blue ball. I will take my rocket ship closer. That blue ball is a planet with great oceans of water. It is white at the top and bottom of the ball. That must be frozen water. I do see some areas of land. I will take my rocket ship closer. I see lots of green. That must be plants and trees. I have never seen anything like it. I will take my rocket ship closer. Now I see animals and people moving around. They are brown, red, yellow, black, and white. So much color. This is such a pretty planet. I wonder what it is called. In the story, what are the areas of green on the earth? Sky, trees and plants, animals. Correct. Congratulations. You just won a brand new reading cap. Click on the cap that you want to take. Click on the left and right arrows to see more caps. You now have three reading caps. There are 30 in all. See if you can collect them all. The New Boying Class by Mark Beckwith. A new boy starred in my class today. His name is Juan. Juan is kind of different from me, but kind of the same. He seems nice. Juan told me his mom and dad are from a place called Mexico. Juan is lucky. He speaks English like me, and he also speaks Spanish. 
<laughs> One is kind of different from me, but kind of the same. He says some words differently than I do. He loves to play soccer just like me. One's hair is black, and my hair is light brown. He likes to be silly. I like to be silly too. Juan is kind of different from me, but kind of the same. I guess everyone is that way. I hope he will be my friend. <laughs> what letter is missing from this word? O, K, G, N. That's right. I am Irish by Mark Beckwith. How are you? My name is Jill. Let us be friends, if you will. I live in the fog, beyond the wet bog, in the valley near the castle on the hill. Potatoes I plant, and I dig. Over there, near the barn, is my pig. When the fiddlers play on St. Patrick's Day, that pig will dance quite a jig. Look at the hair on my head. See it is wavy and red. My friend, I am proud, and I say it aloud. I am Irish, born and bred. What word doesn't sound like fog, bog, log, car, dog? Correct. Vegemite by Glynis Campbell. Vegemite, Vegemite, we eat Vegemite. Come and we'll sail ya to Australia. Vegemite, Vegemite, we eat Vegemite. We like barbecues, we have kangaroos. Vegemite, Vegemite, we eat Vegemite. We have crocodiles push for miles and miles. <coughs> Vegemite, Vegemite, we eat Vegemite. We have billabongs, we sing bonza songs in Australia. Dreaming all day and night of Vegemite. Vegemite, we love Vegemite. What letter is missing from this word? E R P. Correct. Congo Safari by Glynis Campbell. Come with me to Congo, to the river Zaire. Come with me to Congo. Join me on safari. Come on, Jack. Come on, Jill. Come on, Tim and Tamara. You can shoot the animals, but only with your camera. See the baby monkeys swinging through the trees? See the hippopotamus mud up to his knees. Look at all the elephants splashing in the water. There's a mother chimpanzee playing with her daughter. Come with me to Congo, to the great savanna. Come with me to Congo, Tim and Kate and Hannah. Look at all the wildebeests feeding on the grasses. See the great rhinoceros? Careful as he passes. There's a zebra on the plains and his friend giraffe. If you listen closely, you can hear hyenas laugh. Come with me to Congo, to my people's city. Come with me to Brazzaville. It is very pretty. <laughs> See the chickens in our yard and the goats and sheep? We raise pigs for market day. I have one to keep. Uh-oh, do you see that beast? Fiercer than the others? Stay away. Don't get too close. It's my baby brother. <coughs> what word sounds like the word giraffe, clown, parrot, laugh, pickle? That's right. 
Origami Sayonara by Gudenus Campbell. Hello to you. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Hello. My name is Yoko from Japan. I live in Tokyo. I live here with my haha. My haha is my mother. And here on the tatami mat is Kenichi, my brother. Sometimes we play computer games or ride our bikes for fun or play rock, scissors, paper. We call it Jan Ken Pan. Sometimes we practice kado, putting flowers in a bunch. Sometimes we help our haha make the miso soup for lunch. But what we really love to do is fold bright paper squares into the most amazing shapes, birds and fish and bears. It's origami that we love. Our chichi father taught us to make origami dogs and cats with paper that he brought us. We'll show him what we made today. We'll set them on his chair. So when our chichi comes home, he'll be sure to see them there. I think I hear him at the door. He's hard to miss, you see. He is a sumo wrestler, as big as big can be. Our Chichi is a sumo champ. He's very, very fat. He must have wrestled hard today, not looking where he sat. Uh-oh, I wish he'd looked before. I guess we'll have to make some more. Our origami's flat. <laughs> What material do you use when you do origami, water, snow, origami paper? <laughs> you got it! The Candy Machine. This part of the book is called The Table of Contents. It lists all the stories that are in this book. Click on the story that you want to read. The First Circus Act by Mark Towner Ladies and gentlemen, the ringmaster said, out first are the horses, but the clown came instead. <laughs> no, no, cried the ringmaster, as he tried to explain, you come out last, like the caboose on a train. I see, said the clown. I'm not first in the show. I come on last, before the crowd goes. You'll come out last. That's right. You're not first, you're last, so now go. So we can get on with the first of our show. <laughs> what came out first? The clown, tightrope walker, or elephant? Clown, tightrope walker, elephant. Correct! Shopping with Dollars by Mark Beckwith. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. I can buy four shoes with all of this money. Twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty. I'd like a grand hat that looks kind of sporty. Forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty. I'll buy this huge purse. It sure is nifty. Hee-hee. <laughs> 65, 70, 75, 80. I take a large dress because I'm a large lady. 85, 90, 95, 100. Now I'm a well dressed cow, big and rotund. <coughs> Which is the right way to count to 15 by fives? 
five, fifteen, ten, five, ten, fifteen, ten, fifteen, fifteen. Ha <laughs> ha! You got it. Baby Toes by Glynis Campbell. Ten little babies wearing no clothes, giggling and wriggling and counting their toes. Each little baby has ten little toes, ten little piggies right under my nose. <coughs> ten, twenty, thirty. This baby's toes are dirty. Forty, fifty, sixty. This baby's very wiggly. Seventy, eighty, ninety. This baby's toes are tiny. <coughs> Ten little babies with one hundred toes. Tickle them, tickle them. Ouch! Kicked my nose. <coughs> Ooh. Ooh. Which is the right way to count to forty by tens? Twenty? Thirty, forty, fifty, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, forty, ten, thirty, twenty. Ha <laughs> ha! You got it! Sense Spent by Glennis Campbell I've got a penny, a shiny copper penny. I've got a penny. What can I buy? One cent, one cent, I can buy a gumball. One cent, one cent, now my penny's all spent. I've got a nickel, a shiny nickel nickel. I've got a nickel, what can I buy? Five cents, five cents, I can buy a sticker. Five cents, five cents, now my nickel's all spent. I've got a dime, a shiny silver dime. I've got a dime. What can I buy? Ten cents, ten cents, I can buy a pencil. Ten cents, ten cents, now my money's all spent. In the story, what can you buy for a penny? Gumball, lollipop, hot dog, dog. <laughs> you got it. Ten Little Monkeys by Glynis Campbell Ten little monkeys in a line, waiting to swing on the big fat vine. <laughs> <laughs> the first little monkey is very fat. The second little monkey has a Panama hat. The third little monkey has to sneeze. The fourth little monkey is slapping his knees. The fifth little monkey has a great big grin. <coughs> the sixth little monkey has a sharp hat pin. The seventh little monkey is counting his toes. The eighth little monkey is picking his nose. The ninth little monkey yells, Not a peep! The tenth little monkey is fast asleep! <laughs> what word goes with the number one? First, fourth, ninth? Correct! Popcorn Popping by Glynis Campbell Get the popcorn, get the pot, pour the oil, make it hot. There's no stopping popcorn popping. Just a little makes a lot. <laughs> popcorn popping one by one. There's enough for everyone. One, two, three, four. No, don't eat it off the floor. <laughs> Popcorn popping two by two, some for me and some for you. Two, four, six, eight. Not for doggy. Whoops, too late. <coughs> Popcorn popping three by three, more for you and more for me. 
Three, six, nine, twelve. Hey, don't eat it all yourself. Popcorn popping four by four. Everybody wants some more. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen. Time to lick our fingers clean. Popcorn popping five by five. Hopping up like it's alive. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. That's enough now. We've had plenty. Which is the right way to count by twos? Five, ten, fifteen. Two, four, six, eight. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty. Ha-ha! <laughs> you got it! The Candy Machine by Mark Beckwith If I give you five pennies, will you give me a nickel? Mara asked Beth as she held out her brown coins. Yes, said Beth. Five pennies are the same as one nickel. But why do you need a nickel? I want to buy candy from that machine, Mara said as she made the coin trade. The machine will not take pennies. Mara thanked Beth and went to buy her candy. Beth, if I give you ten pennies, will you give me a dime? Mara asked when she came back. I need more coins to buy the candy. Sure, Beth said. Ten pennies are the same as a dime. Here you go. Mara thanked Beth then walked to the candy machine once more. Oh, Beth, said Mara when she returned, I still need more coins for the candy machine. Can I give you 25 pennies for a quarter? Mara held out her hand with the 25 pennies and took the quarter from Beth. Beth, Mara called out as she walked back. I know, said Beth. You want to trade another five pennies for a nickel. No, said Mara. Then you want to trade two nickels for a dime, said Beth. No, said Mara. Do you want a quarter for five nickels, asked Beth. Mara shook her head. Well, then you must want to trade two dimes and a nickel for a quarter, said Beth. Not at all, said Mara. I just want to know if you want to eat some of this candy. How many pennies is the same as one dime? Ten, seven, three. That's right. Counting Eggs by Glennis Campbell. Farmer Brown is counting eggs with his country cousin. How many have the chickens laid? Hope he finds a dozen. <laughs> with the buck buck here at the break of dawn, Farmer Brown has just found one. With a cheep cheep there and a cockadoodle-doo, Farmer Brown has just found two. With the cluck cluck here, cause the range is free, Farmer Brown has just found three. Mm -mm. With the chick chick there by the hen house door, Farmer Brown has just found four. With a buck buck here by the old beehive, Farmer Brown has just found five. With the cheep cheep there from the baby chicks, Farmer Brown has just found six. <laughs> With a cluck cluck here while the tractor's revving, Farmer Brown has just found seven. Chick chick there by the farmyard gate, Farmer Brown has just found eight. With a buck buck here by the pumpkin vine, Farmer Brown has just found nine. <laughs> With a cheep cheep there from the old gray hen, Farmer Brown has just found ten. With a cluck cluck here all the way to heaven, Farmer Brown has found eleven. Chick chick there on the highest shelf, Farmer Brown has just found twelve.
A dozen, a dozen. He's found an even dozen. But wait, what's this? Could it be an extra egg? No. Nah. With a crack crack here by the country cousin, Farmer Brown has an even dozen. How many eggs are there in a dozen? Twelve, seven, one. <laughs> you got it. The Lark in the Park Babies by Mark Towner Female dogs have puppies. A kitten is a baby cat. But there are more baby animal names than just that. A cub is a baby to a mama bear. A goat has a kid for which she must care. <coughs> a deer has a baby called a fawn, you see. Mommy and Daddy had a baby. They called it me. <coughs> what kind of animal has a baby called a cub? Deer, bear, dog. <laughs> you got it. Bears by Mark Towner Many bears are big. Some of them are brown. And some sleep all winter when there's snow on the ground. <coughs> some bears live up north. They are white and love the cold. They are called polar bears and are very playful, I'm told. All bears have fur coats that always stay put, but they never wear shoes, because they're always barefoot. <laughs> what kind of bears are white and love the cold? Polar bear, teddy bear, koala bear. That's right. Animal Talk by Mark Towner. While walking through the zoo, I heard the animals talk. Ba ba, said the sheep, and the parrot said squawk. <laughs> the snake said hi with a long, long hiss, and the lion roared. Now get ready for this. <laughs> I heard the hyena, he started to laugh, when I stood to listen to the long-necked giraffe. The sound started low, and the giraffe is so tall, I heard the sound later, or never at all. <laughs> what letter is missing from this word? E-L-R-I. Ha-ha! <laughs> you got it! Animals on the Move by Mark Towner. The bunny doesn't run. He moves with a hop. But the horse can't hop. He gallops, clip-clop. <laughs> a snake could never gallop. He can only slide. And an eagle in the air will flap and then glide. Now here's one to guess. See if you know who. Starts off crawling, then walks. That's right, it's you. What animal hops? Bunny, snake, eagle, horse. That's right. Sid the Slug by Mark Beckwith. Sid was a small slug. Sid liked to sit in the sand at the salty sea. Sid swam in the salty sea, but the salty sea made Sid sick, so Sid was sad. You see, salt is not so good for small slugs. Soon, Sid saw a snail. The snail said, Say, I am Sam. 
I see that you are a sad slug. Sid said, Yes, I love to swim in the salty sea, but the salt seems to make small slugs sort of sick. Sam was a smart snail, so Sam said to Sid, Go sled on the snow. There is no salt in snow, and snow is so soft like sand. Snow is solid. So you don't swim in snow, but you can slide a sled on snow. Oh. Sid set off to seek the snow. Sid saw snow and slid with the sled. Sid loved the snow. Sid liked to slide on the sled just as he liked to swim in the sea. But Sid did not get sick in the snow. So Sid sat on the sled and smiled. What did Sam the snail tell Sid the slug to do so that he wouldn't be sick? Go sled in the snow, swim in the sea. Ha <laughs> ha! You got it! The Lark in the Park by Glynis Campbell I am a bird. I'm called a lark. I was born in this nest in this tree in this park. From an egg I was hatched in this nest in this tree, and my mother and father took good care of me. My mother sat by me when I was too cool, and my father brought worms till my tummy was full. I ate and I ate till I grew big and strong. And I got all my feathers and learned the lark song. And now I'm too big for this nest in this tree. Winter is coming, so south we must flee. I know I'm a bird, and I know I must fly. I know I must try out my wings in the sky. So I've tried and I've tried, week after week. I've flapped and I've flapped and I've crashed on my beak. Enough of this flapping, enough of this fuss. If I must go south, then I'm taking the bus. Where was the lark born? Bird's nest, hospital, zoo. That's right. Good afternoon. Welcome back. school guy. 